Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good day so far. Of course, it's a beautiful morning in Melbourne and I want to share a verse with you this morning that I think can help us uh, out of Psalms and it's Psalm 1. Let me read to you. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. This psalm speaks to us at this time because it tells us not to walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor to listen to the words of scoffers. And at this moment, there is so much material media uh, that's available to us. There are people that are reacting to the current times and there's so many voices and and some of those voices are really angry voices and it's easy to get caught down the rabbit warren of um of all sorts of negativity and and uh and to follow certain commentators and, and really listen to what they have to say and i believe that this verse speaks to us right now where shall our, should our counsel be and where should we be seeking um, wisdom from? And God's counsel will cause us to be planted by streams so that we won't wither in the moment, but we will prosper in these times. And that's God's heart for us, that we don't wither under the pressure of this uh, period of time in history and these things that we're facing and what our community is going through that we have the word of God. And I just encourage you, meditating means to go over and over again. You know, I'm in my early 60s and I am still learning scriptures off by heart. I say that to you not to boast, but I say it to you because as I meditate and as I learn verses off by heart, I find that wisdom comes to me from the word of God in whatever circumstance that I'm facing. You know, just recently I've been learning Isaiah 55, 10, which says, As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and return not again, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, providing seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and prosper in the thing for which I sent it. You know, the word of God has been sent to us. And I encourage you at this time, grab a couple of scriptures, learn them off by heart, meditate on them, allow them to become illuminated to you and allow the Holy Spirit to bring life and light into your world and into your life, that you would prosper, that you would be planted by those streams of water and that when the the harsh winds come, you will, will not wither, but you will prosper. That is God's heart for you. Let his word be the counsel that you seek in these days. God bless you.